Rice on the side for our curry. Beef. Hmm. What's up guys? I'm gonna be making some Japanese curry. I got this request username DeverCamp. They suggested Japanese curry, but they suggested the curry paste that you find at Walmart or H Mart. And I've actually used that before. It's really delicious, but I had curry powder at home and a lot of other ingredients make it from scratch so that's what i'm going to do today thank you so much for putting all of that information there they literally put like all of the directions of how to do the uh, golden curry paste found the recipe on pickled plum pickled plum they're known for japanese recipes so i figured this one is pretty legit right now i'm just going to go ahead and start prepping the seasonings and also slicing potato almost the size of my head so it's pretty it's a pretty large potato, huge onion as well. I'll show you guys the process here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. How are you today? Are you guys doing well? I hope you are. So, I'm going to put a little ramekin here. And what we need is four tables tablespoons of uh, curry. Yeah, so super excited that I had this at home and it's brand new, so I haven't I haven't used it. One, two. Three, four. Mmm, that smells so good. Beautiful color, oh my word. Yum. So I'm going to use some ground ginger. This recipe calls for actual ginger, but I don't have that on me, so I'm just gonna use some ground ginger. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of the vegetables are washed and peeled, but I'm gonna go ahead and slice these into like really thin slices. The potato into like some chunks, I guess. Just start slicing these, slicing this large potato. Like that, yeah, it's perfect. Like that size, ah, a little bit smaller. Smaller than that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Like that size, that's pretty good. I'm gonna finish up with this potato and then we can start on the carrots and the onion as well. Cause I'm just gonna slice this carrot here. Super thin slices, nice thin slices of carrot. Love cooked carrots. So delicious. Okay guys, now I'm just going to cut the onion, chop the onion into good sized chunks. Went ahead and peeled it already. Just big chunks. So the recipe said we can either grate the apples or slice it into thin slices. So I just sliced the apples into really super thin slices. Cook one pound of stew meat. Um, cook one pound of stew meat for five minutes or until it's completely cooked through. Cook this up really quick. Break it apart. Just gonna let that stew meat com uh, cook completely through and then we will remove the meat from the pan and then add the rest of the ingredients. Pretty much cooked through. So I'm going to remove the beef from the skillet and then we're gonna add a tablespoon of oil and then add our, our onions. Okay. Yeah guys, this looks so good, right? Yum. Okay, so I'm gonna add onions. Yum, it smells so good guys, wow. Okay guys, so yeah, we're going to let those onions cook until they're nice and caramelized, say about 10 minutes. The apple, the garlic, stirring it up, powder. Cook that for about one minute. Our potatoes and carrots. I'm going to go ahead and add the curry powder and seasonings and then also gonna add the tomato paste and then two cups of beef stock. The recipe calls for two cups of red wine. I just substituted for beef stock. Ginger and then the masala. Cook 
nice boil. So now I'm gonna add the soy sauce, sugar, and four cups of water. Then we're gonna bring it back to a boil and then cover it with a lid and then um, cook that for 10 minutes. Sugar. Four cups of water. This is two cups. Four cups. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Our curry has come to a nice boil, so I'm going to lower it to a simmer, cover it with a lid, and the recipe actually says that we need to cook it for 30 minutes. Set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes counting. Guys, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna take the lid off, and then we're going to cook it for 30 more minutes without the lid, so yeah. I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. Ooh, it smells so good until it's reduced. Okay guys, it's been about 30 minutes. I'm gonna continue to let this simmer for a little bit, but I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. Oh. That's good. I'm gonna mix that up. Some pepper. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper. And then I also made some sushi rice on the side for our curry. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook for about five more minutes and then I'll plate up the curry with you guys with some sushi rice. Put some sushi rice on the plate. All right guys, so here is our curry with rice. Delicious. Okay guys, so I have the Japanese curry with rice. I already tried it. Mm. Definitely be hot. It's hot, so be careful. It's so delicious, you guys. It's a little spicy. Mm. Beef. Wow, guys, it's so good. The vegetables are so tender. Mm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It doesn't even taste like apple anymore. It's so good. Mmm. <clears throat> Pickled radish. So I've never tried this um, flavor before. Watermelon lime Powerade, sour. So curious of what this tastes like. Definitely not better than the um, the strawberry smash that I usually get, but it's okay. Cheers. <clears throat> the curry. And that beef is so tender, wow. Mm.
Delicious. This is so good. <clears throat> it's so good. Yum. Done. <laughs> I don't wanna let myself down myself. 